Hi, my name is Lisa Condon. I'm an artist and illustrator and author of Collection A Day. Everybody's story about how they became an artist is different. I got into art about 10 years ago. It's a second career for me. I was working a nine to five job, feeling sort of you know, stressed out and needing some creative release and I started taking a few painting classes and discovered that I really loved making art. So at first it was just a hobby and then in 2005 I believe I started a blog which no longer exists but at the time I had a blog and it was a craft blog kind of sharing what I was making and people really responded to it and then I started showing my work in really small venues um, and then six years later, it's what I do for a living. I'm not really sure how it all happened. <laughs> this is my book. It's in chronological order and every page is a different collection. Well, Collection A Day got started um, at the end of 2009. I was looking for some creative project that I could do for the year that would sort of motivate me in a new way, in a way that was different from the drawing and painting that I do as part of my like regular practice. But I came up with this idea that I would post a photograph every day of one of my collections or a part of one of my collections or a drawing of an imagined collection. I had this vision in my head that before I even started that I was going to use this white backdrop on the floor and that I was going to arrange things on this imaginary grid. So the items that I photographed, the collections had to be small enough to form a grouping on a piece of paper that was basically, you know, maybe two feet by two feet. It's always a surprise every time I open up a box, I don't know what's going to be in it. Oh, I have so many old boxes of staples. I have lots of old office supplies. My most favorite collection is probably my first collection, which is my school supply collection. When I was in my early 20s, I started a career as an elementary school teacher. I took over for this teacher I'd been teaching for 40 years, and he retired, and I took over his classroom, and he literally left everything there. And he had held on to textbooks and flashcards and globes and supplies from probably when he took over the classroom, the school was really old and had been there for over a hundred years. I was totally enamored by it, and that was the beginning of this, you know, new collection of old school supplies, which I've been accumulating and adding to for, um, I think, probably like 18 years. <laughs> I collect all kinds of photographs. Um, that is my mother when she was probably 13 or 14. I'm like constantly scavenging through, you know, bins of photos at antique stores and flea markets and garage sales for like the smallest portrait size ones that I can find. In some of us, and I don't think everybody has this, there's this hunter-gatherer instinct. There are things that I'm drawn to because I, I think they're either beautiful or interesting or nostalgic in some way. And those are collections that I'm probably adding to the most. Then I also have these really small collections of things that I'll find. And I feel like because I've documented so many of them, I am able to let go of them now. Here we have one of my collections of vintage airline tags, which actually is also in a vintage sandwich baggie. <laughs> and uh, these are really fun. And what else have I got here? I'm not really a photographer, so that was the one thing that made me nervous about doing this project. I wanted to do something that was unlike anything that anyone had ever done. And I found a lot of 365 day projects. A lot of them involve photography, but none that were like staged as much as mine was. And when people ask me, you know, are you gonna do this again? I think, yeah, I think I could, I could in a few years do something else. But really thinking of something as unique or interesting is going to be hard. I know there's other great ideas out there. I just need to figure out what the next great idea is. <laughs>